back to my new series, What Will Happen If? This new series takes you on an epic journey through hypothetical worlds and possibilities, some in distant corners of the universe and others right here on Earth. Come join me on an imaginary adventure and give it a thought. What will happen if coronavirus never disappear? Possible questions that comes to your to your mind could be how could COVID, how could COVID nineteen never disappear? Unfortunately, there are a couple of ways that COVID nineteen could be here to stay. Number one, vaccines may not be completely effective. Number two, animals could infect us again. Number three, the virus can continue to mutate. Two. What would life be like? Firstly, if coronavirus never disappeared, it would mean that an effective vaccine was never found. Everybody will be heartbroken. Secondly, if coronavirus never disappeared, everyone may have to continue wearing masks, using sanitizers, and maintaining social distancing. Thirdly, if coronavirus never disappeared, Restaurants, theaters, theme parks, gyms, etc. will have to continue operating under restrictions. Fourthly, if coronavirus never disappeared, sporting events as well as concerts will be extremely difficult to organize. Fifthly, if coronavirus never disappeared, travel restrictions may have may have to continue and tourism industry might collapse. Sixthly, if coronavirus never disappeared, lockdowns may, may be further extended. People might start protesting and government, governments will have to find alternative solutions. Lastly, if, if coronavirus never disappeared, doctors as well as nurses may have to get used to grueling work sh schedules. One of the reasons why COVID-19 is so deadly is because it's new. Our bodies have never been exposed to this virus before. Eventually, it's years into the future, our immune system could adapt to protect us. My takeaway for this video could be vaccination awareness. Vaccines are effective, safe and life-saving. Vaccines will be effective only when people are willing to participate. If, more, if most people are vaccinated, the virus will have a hard time finding who is susceptible. Eventually, the spread will slowly and die out this is called herd immunity. What is herd immunity? Picture a community or herd of healthy people. An infectious disease would pass easily through the community from person to person. Vaccines train our immune system to protect us from diseases it hasn't come into contact with before. For example, the MMR vaccine provides immunity against measles, mumps and rubella. During an outbreak of a disease, vaccinated people will remain healthy. As they won't become infected, they won't pass the disease on. When most of the community is vaccinated, it makes it difficult for the disease to spread within the community. This is called herd immunity. If more people within the community remain unvaccinated, herd immunity can break down, allowing the disease to spread more easily. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for my next interesting video to get up to fill you with them. yet another exciting and thought-provoking content. If you like my video, share and subscribe to my channel. It's me, Champ, signing off. Bye!